Just to set this up, you wrote the piece, the original article. It was titled, White Men Get Funded on Potential, White Women Get Funded on Proof, Black Women Don't Get Funded. Um, what, what led you to that conclusion? What did you see? Well, if you, if you look at the statistics, black women are the biggest participants in the labor force. They are statistically the most educated group in the country, and they're also the most entrepreneurial. And that's been trending that way from 1997 onward. And what I thought was interesting is that if you are the most entrepreneurial, if you are the most educated, why is there a lack of funding when you decide to found tech companies? So dug a little bit deeper and noticed that the average raise, if a woman tries to secure VC funding, a black woman, was $36,000 versus to what a, a white male who would get a million. <laughs> and also when you would look at that, they had to have what's called an MVP, a most viable, they have to have a minimum viable product in order to prove that their concept works, where oftentimes men can be funded just strictly off of having an idea. You, you think that this is because the VC firms themselves are, are mostly white men? I think, yeah. I, uh, Richard Kirby, who is a VC partner, uh, did a, a really interesting statistical look over the last couple of years uh, because one of his passions is to diversify the VC space. And he looked at a data set of about a thousand different VC partners across large firms and found that it is about 75% uh, white, 82% male, and they, there were eight black women and six Latinas out of that entire data set. Wow. And the most interesting thing was 40% of all of those participants had either gone to Harvard or Stanford. And you have some overlap, of course, with some that attend both. So what, what's the solution? How, how, how to fix this problem? There, I think, are a couple of solutions. One, I think, is, is something that I would also advocate when you're thinking about diversity in recruiting. Like, say, if, if you're a large tech company looking to diversify, what you should do is really look at candidates holistically um, and understand that maybe you know, someone has a lot of grit, but they don't have an Ivy League degree. Or maybe they were able to work three jobs while also carrying a full load in school. And you can look at you know, the ability of someone to really get things done and multitask versus seeing someone has the, the same pedigree or they went to Harvard and they went to Stanford for business school and they have ins to certain VC money. So I think a large part of it is, is really just being willing to be open to the other talent that's out there. And they're also- And look to different pipelines. Exactly. And uh, Marlon Nichols, who is a VC at Cross Culture Ventures, has a new program called VC Apprentice, which is backed by Silicon Valley Bank. And in that case, what they do is focus solely on training black and Latinx women mm -hmm. to become VCs. And at the end of the program, ideally they would hire them. And they can, of course, hire everyone that will go through the program, but the pipeline will be there 